Hello everyone, how is it going? Today we're looking into image manipulation. Now, image manipulation has a variety of things that you can do. If you just go into OpenCV and type in image manipulation, you'll open up this OpenCV's program and let's look at image manipulation of OpenCV. If you just go into image processing and OpenCV, you will see that it consists of color spaces, changing color spaces, doing some sort of geometric transformation, thresholding, smoothing of images, which is nothing but well, all these noise and blurring images, morphological operations, which include of erosion, dilation, and opening, closing, etc. Uh, erosion dilation is something, if you recall in the previous video, if not, if you haven't seen them, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, you can look into this erosion and dilation, and uh, this will be. This is basically removing the noise or adding or emphasizing those pixel values. Similarly, you have image gradients, you have canny edge detection, uh, you also have image pyramids. So these are all different types of image manipulations that you can do. And uh, we will look into some of these important ones which we need to know for sure you know, into uh, subsequent uh, chapters. But right now, let's look into one particular aspect which is denoising, or which is also called as removing the noise, removing the issues that you across you come across in these images. Now, in order to run this, uh, once you open the Colab link, you can go ahead and run this code, which is in the very top, and uh, it's basically the GitHub clone, and you're just cloning the repository that we need here. So it'll take a few seconds, and it'll clone the repository, and if you open up this folder, which is the directory folder, you'll have this OpenCV tutorial, and it'll have these images. Under images, today we have this new image called the lion image, lion.jpg image. And the reason we have this lion.jpg image is because uh, I, I wanted to choose, I wanted to get a very grainy and a very noisy image. And uh, animals, because of the hair, uh, amount of hair present on them, it, it seems to be very noisy on a camera. And especially lion with all the big hair uh, available on it, it, it becomes very noisy. We'll, we'll look into the code and see how this image really looks like. So we have, we're going into lesson number three, image manipulation. And let's read this image for us. So we are importing OpenCV. We are importing CV2 uh, underscore IM show, and we are also importing NumPy. Now let's look into displaying this image first. The image equal to CV2 dot IM read, and we want to read the image under the OpenCV folder because our image is under the OpenCV folder. OpenCV lion dot jpeg let me maximize this a little bit so it's easier for you to read uh, in fact i can close this as well now we know it's under the open cv images uh, i think we are already under the email open cv folder we just need to be under the images folder because uh, we already changed the directory right, right on the beginning if you see we have changed the directory to open cv tutorial so we uh, the cursor is somewhere in here we just want to go under the images folder so for that purpose, I'm telling the images, that image which I'm opening, it's under the images folder. So images, then you have the line.jpg. So this image should be read into this folder, in this variable called image. And once we have this image, we will now display it. We will say cv2 underscore ion show image. And if we just run this, it should display the lion image for us. You can see it is this big image and it has so many hair on it. And it seems very noisy if you look at it from a camera perspective, from an image perspective. Of course, those are the definitions of uh, the hair of the lion. I don't know what it's actually called, but you can see the number of grains, the number of noisiness available here. Now, consider that okay, uh, this is something, a uh, noisy picture, and you're not interested in looking at all this images, looking at all these hair profiles of the lion. How would you remove this thing? How would you remove or blend all these hair profiles into one? And for that purpose, we have something called as fast error mean denoising color. And this is a part of OpenCV's denoising profiling. So if I go under OpenCV image denoising, you can see, that it's taking a grainy image, and this is from the website, or this is from the OpenCV's website. So it is a very grainy image. You can see the amount of noisiness that's available. And 
Once you apply the denoising filter on it, it removes the noise to a, way, a large extent. And how it's doing it is because it's averaging the pixel. It is taking the mean of the pixel in that area and whatever is available, which is more important, it then denoises it and just takes out what is important for us. And this is what the denoising takes care of for us. We'll come here and we'll apply the same denoising filter on our image. And uh, the denoising filter is, looks like something like this. Fast N L means denoising colored. And it's, uh, the reason we are putting colored is because this is a colored image. Similarly, OpenCV has something for grayscale where you can do more about binary images where it's only black and white and they have their own functions which will act in a separate way. In this case, we are using the colored profile and we need to provide the image that we want to do. In our case, it is image. And uh, these are all the filters that are available. So uh, because this is, it's kind of a, a filter, it's kind of a window that goes over all across the image and it displays all these images for us. So uh, there is a filter which basically goes through all these images. And then this is the size of those filters. The, uh, these are the threshold values. So uh, uh, all these values are something, right now at this point, you don't need to remember what this is about, but when you're using this program, this uh, particular uh, this particular function in your real-time code or project, then may just play around these values until you get the result that you want. Now, there is no hard and fast rule in knowing what is correct and what is wrong because every size of uh, every image is different. The project that you're working is different. The type of uh, images that you're using is different. The size of the images are different as well. So uh, all these values will differ from the different images that you're using. In my case, for this particular image that I'm playing with today, it, this particular value is worked out, and uh, but it could be different for different. And we'll see how this thing uh, works a little bit as well. Now, coming down here, uh, let's display this image. So you have the original image, which is the image, and the destination image, which is DST. Now, you, let's use a NumPy to uh, create a horizontal stack of this. So we'll create a horizontal stack which we will be displaying and we'll call it as a display and horizontal stack is basically adding both these two images destination and image and making it look like one image so open, uh, the numpy has a function called h stack and it can take two variables or two or many variables of similar size similar matrix size so we can say okay hey uh, i want to add the image and i want to add, add the destination together and both of them please combine and give it to me under this variable called display. So we have display, come down here and we will use OpenCVs underscore I am show display. And it will display this for us. Let's uh, uncomment this thing so we don't, we're not displaying it two times because already we are displaying the image and the destination here for our case. Now let's come here, let's play this and it should, run both the commands and it should give us the output right here oops jumped up okay so you can see both the images are available here and this is the original image which has all this grainy profile of the lion in this case you can see that all the grains all the hair are blended and they are joined and uh, you can only see the gradient color out of it and all the hair profile which was uh, basically defining the features of the line here are gone and it's only emphasizing the gradient profile of this so it's basically considered all, con considering all these hair profile as noise and removing them and giving it out to us so it looks like a more of a cartoonish uh, cartoonish uh, display of an image and converting or cartoonizing the image so the, it's kind of a, the, a representation of those images here for us so uh, now coming down here let's play with these values a little bit so you have 20. Let's see what happens if we do it as five. And let's run this again, and we'll see what kind of an output we get here. And since we reduced the size of the window, you can see that the grains are now much more visible. Uh, there is, of course, a little bit of uh, uh, blurriness available here. You can see this portion here, and this portion is different. Whereas the long hair available here are also available here because the size of the filter reduced and it's only now removing small small amount of noises so because the texture you see here on the nose it has small noises and those noises are being blurred out however the big hair profiles that are visible that are still visible in this final image and that's because you have reduced the amount of 
the filter. Similarly, if we increase to this thing, say for example, we were to do 50, let's see what kind of an image we may, we may get. Uh, let's see even if, if we can even recognize whether it's an image of a lion or not. And you can see that it's fully blurred out. There, you can hardly identify any kind of features uh, in this image. And it looks like a more of a painting without much, uh, without much definition of the original character. And uh, you can see this, this, thing, this thing more looks like uh, something from a 3D, something from a cartoonish drawing. And all these features, all these things has been blurred out and it's only showing the gradient of it. And that's how it affects all these filters, all these values uh, affect the value. And similarly, you can play with all the other values and see what kind of an image you get out. And uh, this is basically helpful when you're doing some sort of uh, image uh, or foreground extraction or background removal, where you want to uh, specifically uh, segment or specifically emphasize on the objects and remove all the types of noise available in the image. And, uh, that's how it's very helpful. So the, uh, with, that, with that, we come to the conclusion on image noise removal.